Some of you may remember the 3D craze in the early 80s. 3D thrills! Hurry to rumble over to HMV now and buy your 3D glasses. Everyone loved them! They all had their own charm, but came across kind of goofy and really didn't add to the quote film experience the studios were expecting at the time. I haven't seen this calamity in over 30 years, so why not revisit it 2D style? I'm talking about Space Hunter, Adventures in the Forbidden Zone from 1983. This Ivan Reitman produced picture pre-Ghostbusters was an attempt at the 3D cash grab at the time as well as dropping a week before Return of the Jedi to scoop up some of those. Republic credits? Republic credits are no good out here, I need something more real. How did that work out for you? No! With this Mad Max meets Star Wars scratch and sniff, we begin with a star cruiser passing through a nebula storm, being hit by lightning. An escape pod is jettisoned and crash lands on Tatooine. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. With these ladies donning some very Cthulhu-esque looking helmets that keep their stylized bouffants intact. They're instantly captured by the local riffraff who ride the rails across the desert sands. The ship and vehicle designs in this are pretty cool, I have to say with the miniature effects being top-notch. Wolf, who's a salvage operator that could use the extra coin, picks up a distress signal from the Doom space cruiser about the ladies landing on nearby Terra 11, waking his Wookiee, I mean android, Chalmers. I prefer the term artificial person myself. Has her plot a course to Terra 11 after Wolf gives the console a few love taps. How too d to it is, you, it is you. Once on the planet, they come across the sand pirates called Zoners who abducted the ladies. During this failed snatch and grab rescue attempt, Wolf is double teamed by another group called Scavs, who work for Michael Ironside, one of the three scientists who tried to create a colony on this planet but failed. Ironside goes by the name Overdog and is now a part cyborg and drains the younglings in order to keep that youthful glow. With the three golden girls being plucked from the sail barge, they are whisked away in jet-powered hang gliders. You gotta give it to the filmmakers. Even though the first director was fired and replaced in the first two weeks, they all managed to create some interesting world-building bits. Deflated and dealing with the loss of his sex droid, I'm still glad I bought you the nightshirt instead. I mean co-pilot, Wolf is off in his scrambler to stumble upon a dwelling of death while Molly Ringwald tries to steal his ride. What do you think I am, you scrawny nurse bag? I'm a woman! This pre-John Hughes era Molly joins Wolf in offering her tracking services to find the Golden Girls who were taken to Overdog deep within the zone. Through their misadventures... Good breeding, man. I'll bet breeding with us would kill him. I'll take that bet. They run into an old Space Force buddy, Ernie Hudson, who is also looking to reap benefits from locating the Golden Girls as well as to get some of those sweet... I give you 750 mega credits. With his and Wolf's relationship on the rocks from a previous movie plot fallout... You got a lot of guts coming here after what you pulled. They finally come to a mutual understanding to help one another since Ernie's ship is bunk and he needs a lift off of Tatooine. You need my ship for transportation. Or else you're stuck here. If it's a fast ship. Fast ship? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Once at Overdog's Palace of Delights, Wolf and Ernie manage to free the Golden Girls and are almost out of there scot-free. But good old Molly can't sit still. Instantly captured, I like her for the maze. She manages to maneuver through it better than most. Wolf catches a glimpse of her distress, doubling back to save her and take on Overdog himself. In some spectacular pyro that I'm shocked these actors made it out with their eyebrows intact. So if you're looking for a Star Wars Mad Max fun knockoff that's still a good old school Saturday afternoon rainy day watch, then maybe this blue light special is for you. Until next time. This whole planet gives me the creeps. I also wanted to give a shout out to our YouTube members. Thank you for the support. And hail Cthulhu.